relationship between hockey fans here in the state of Utah and their new NHL franchise. Let's continue our team coverage tonight with Brian Malahi. Pay to play at a proposed NHL Jazz Sports Entertainment Zone. Brian Malahi has been looking into this now for a couple of days. Who could pay more in higher taxes and what would the money buy? Brian, this tax increase is still a little bit unclear for a lot of people. What have you been able to find out today as you continue to dig on this? Yeah, it's uncertain, maybe as uncertain as the Stanley Cup playoff outcomes, but many people could pay for a new NHL jazz zone in downtown Salt Lake City for a new arena, perhaps for a retooled Delta Center, a lot of other things inside this zone, which would be on and near the Delta Center. The new team will have Utah in its name. But a half-cent sales tax hike would be imposed just in Salt Lake City for the new Jazz Entertainment NHL Zone. The tax would not be in the suburbs, would not be for the Wasatch Front, would not be for the whole state, just for purchases in Salt Lake City. Is that fair? That nah, probably isn't fair. Probably should be broader um, for, you know, because that's the surrounding people areas. Ought to be paying. Or or, you know, or benefiting from it as well. If Salt Lake City is going to pay, other people should pay too. Sure, it's going to be a Utah team. We read that yesterday, right? It's not Salt Lake City team, it's a Utah team. If the Salt Lake City Council approves the half-cent tax hike, up to a billion dollars could be used for a new arena, the revamped Delta Center, demolition inside the project area, and improvements for aesthetic, entertainment, recreational or safety reasons and also for debt service. So that is a pretty broad, broad spectrum of potential uses for all this tax money. Again, the Salt Lake City Council has not approved this, but under a new state law to incentivize NHL hockey, it could and very soon. Live downtown, Brian Malahi, KUTV2 News.